What's going on YouTube? SciGuy29 coming at you with a little TTM autograph work today. Uh, I have a few returns. This is over the last, I don't know, a couple months. It's been probably back since, I don't know, March or April since I did any TTM sharing. Uh, life's finally slowing down a little bit. Uh, baseball season wrapped up last night. Uh, we got beat 7-zip uh, by the number one team in the state. Uh, really, uh, kids played so hard, uh, just couldn't make enough plays, couldn't get enough hits. We got, we only had one hit, three base runners, not going to get it done, uh, against probably one of the top three teams in any class in the state. We're in the second, second smallest class. There's one, two, three, four, um, we're class two, two A, and so we're the second smallest class, but, uh, Playing a metro school, it, anyway, they, they're very good. Uh, they've beaten teams from every class this year. We actually helped them to five runs under their, their season average, so felt pretty good about that. Uh, but season came to an end and uh, had a nice year, not the year we were hoping for, but uh, better luck next year, as they say. Uh, let's get into the TTMs. Uh, mixed bag, uh, have baseball and hockey. Uh, Going to start off with this. 81 tops Rick Ricky Peters and I asked him because he played at the same time as as my cousin Dan Quisenberry and I said did you you know I always if I send to someone that played at that time you know did you face him did you ever you know know and you have your stories those kind of things uh, and he actually as I looked at and I just got this one this morning I looked at the back of uh, the envelope and it says yes I did face DQ that's all it said but uh, Rick Peters, and he did sign the two index cards as well. You can see he signed them Ricky. Don't need to look at that. Uh, next, one of my all-time favorite college baseball players. I won't say pro, but college baseball players signed playing the College World Series. And he signed this 90 Fleer for me, Mr. Oda B. McDowell. little inscription there. Kevin, blessings, Oda B. McDowell. Good TTM guy. Uh, next, we have a 2002 Tops Glendon Rush. Follow that up with a couple of Jim Beatties. 82 Tops. And an 81 Tops. Uh, next, we have from the Giants on an 82 Donruss, Tom Griffin. I love those old black Giants jerseys and then the orange ones that were the, the went with it. Just a great look from my childhood. Uh, Cubs third baseman, 82 downers, Mike Tyson. Not that Mike Tyson. I don't think he ever bit anybody's ear off or anything. But Mike Tyson for the Cubs. Great shot of the Ivy in the background. Rick Manning with the Indians. 82 tops. Another 81 tops, Mr. Ed Halicki. Really bold, worn-out Sharpie looks like was used for that. But thank you nonetheless. Mr. Roger Metzger. 77. 77 tops. Classic Astros uniforms there. Another Astro. Mr. Charlie Kerfeld on the 88 score. Follow it up with a Jeff Tabaka, not Chewbacca, but Tabaka, uh, 93 tops. Another Cubs infielder, Mr. Paul Noche. Noisy, I don't know. Saw him play in the minors several times, and this is too damn long ago. I don't remember what his, how to pronounce his last name. But Cubs infielders, uh, Mr. Stan Pappy, 82 downers. Follow that up with a 77 Paul Mitchell with the A's. Uh, Mr. Danny Darwin with the Astros. Not sure how that sign, man. Just looks like he kind of finished it right off the edge of the card. Mr. Matt Young for the Dodgers. A uh, Brave on a collector's choice card. This is a terrible choice of card to send, but I did it anyway. 
Mr. Keith Lockhart. At least he was nice enough to sign it on the gray uniform. Uh, and then Mr. Ben Davis was a catcher for the Mariners and a couple other teams, I think, before he was done. So wraps up the baseball portion and leads me to hockey. We have Mr. Dave Ford. He signed that 82 Donruss with the Orioles. This 81 Tops, horribly cut with the Orioles. Once again, love the Orange Unis. And he signed both of the index cards. And I, I should do a video on how I send TTM sometime. Um, those of you who know Troy, uh, TT, it used to be TTM Troy, lives not too far away from me. And, and he's got a good video on how to kind of do it. And that's when I started one of the first videos I found. So shout out to Troy. Uh, and my last one, and this one uh, was gone for a long time. This one was... Uh, this one was in the mail almost, I mailed it out, I, I and I've not done a very good job of keeping track of uh, my sends, uh, not nearly as good as I should have, <coughs> excuse me, um, but I sent this out during the pandemic, it's one of, one of the things I did, uh, kind of take some time and, and do some things, but Mr. Sean Casey, so this went out in July of 2020. And got it back in June 2022. So almost two years out, but glad to have that one back. So a uh, few hockey to go. This is getting a little longer than I thought it would be. We have uh, Sergei Gonchar with the Senators. We have Mr. John Cullen with the Whalers. Card that's old enough that the Hartford Whalers were still around. Uh, Jean Michael Lyle with the Maple Leafs. Uh, this is a great looking card. This is a an, an uh, Pacific Omega of Keith Carney with the Blackhawks. Just a good looking card, a little shine, good looking f picture there. Mr. Paul Holmgren with the Flyers. Uh, Keith Carney, another Keith Carney. I'm not sure how those got separated. Here he is with the Sabres. Uh, Matthew Guerron. With the Lightning. <clears throat> and last but certainly not least, another add to the um, Boston Bruins collection. Mr. Dennis Seidenberg. So happy to have those back. So nice little little group there that I needed to get put away anyway. So I thought it was a good time for a video. Uh, Crafts and Cards should be back next week. Uh, look for that on Tuesday evening. And a few other things. Uh, got a couple more slabs of Iowans and the Majors. So got a couple episodes of that coming out here in the next few weeks as well. So hope all is well. And remember, collect what you love. Love what you collect.